the desert will kill you, and then vultures will rip you to shreds, and then your body will disappear. For many years, pigs have been the kind of standard substitute for a human body. Um, they have a similar organ distribution, similar skin type, um, weight, and so they're the, about as close as we can get to, to a human body in this context. Pigs have been killed on site. They've been put into um, four different locations. Two animals are unclothed and two animals are fully clothed. So they're dressed as we would expect migrants to be dressed. And we will monitor scavenging activity using motion sensor trail cameras that are set on each of these animals, as well as researchers who will go out twice a day to do different measurements on the, the decomposition process. We see these increasing number of deaths in the southern Arizona desert, but we don't necessarily know if we have the methods or the ability to assess accurately how long it's been since these people have died. So if someone dies outside on the surface of the desert, the remains are not protected from the wind and animal activity and birds and coyotes and everything else. A lot of these bones will be carried away and you, you won't find them. Ideally, we would use cadavers donated by people who are sort of interested in, in contributing to science, but there isn't a facility that's capable of doing that here in, in southern Arizona, so the next best thing in this case are pig corpses. The clothing was an important decision because, you know, migrants typically die fully clothed. And so we kind of want to see how the clothing will impact the scavenging compared to the two animals that are unclothed. Cool. Just, and we'll check the footage tomorrow. Okay. We are seeing, obviously, a huge difference in scavenging activity on the pigs that have clothes versus the ones that don't. In fact, we expected that scavenging would kind of disperse skeletal elements along the way, but I don't think anybody expected that an entire body would be completely missing. This looks like a toe. Now that we've seen that an entire pig has been carried away, that tells us a lot, especially that you know, if a body is found in the desert, that doesn't necessarily mean that that location is where they died. Oh, there's a lot more. Yes. This environment and this system that funnels people through the desert literally kills them and then cleans up the mess. If you can imagine this, this pig that's dressed like a human, if you can imagine that as a person, and then to see these birds come in there and just rip this person to shreds, if you can kind of imagine then that this happens to people, it becomes incredibly disturbing. We're working against a clock. I mean, literally, nature is destroying these bodies and making it impossible for us to ever have a good count on the number of folks who die.